Okay, so this is the introduction for the Astronomy 400 Lab, Summer 2020. My name is Chip Armstrong. Um, you can call me Chip or Mr. Armstrong. Email chip at csus.edu. That's the one that I'm more responsible with. I probably, I mean, I try to check it every day, but I forget. So sometimes I'll check it maybe every other day or every once every three days. But that one I'm way more responsible with. The Sac City one, I'm going to try to check that more because uh, it's gotten better apparently. I stopped even looking at it at some point. When I'd look at it, I'd have 20 to 25 emails and none of them would have anything to do with me. It'd be about people retiring that I've never even heard of or people would be in these huge debates about students at Sac City making a, a video that had Santa Claus in it. Oh, that was bad. And they would go back and forth, back and forth with these debates and it just was a waste of time and I didn't want to look at them. So, but apparently the, the president put a stop to that nonsense. So anyway, <clears throat> chip at csus.edu is the better one to reach me. All right, so meeting dates online. Okay, if I do decide to use Zoom, it would only be for answering questions and it would be voluntary and it would be on a Monday or a Wednesday starting at 8.30 p.m. I don't really know how to use Zoom right now, so I'd have to learn how to use it. I didn't use it at all last semester. I just used my YouTube channel, so I didn't use Zoom. So there was no set time where you had to be in front of the computer. Okay, what's required, a free download to your device of Stellarium. I'll go over Stellarium here in just a second, obviously. Internet access, if you're watching this, you have that. should have access to a, a version of Word that recognizes DOCX files, because the labs will be written as Word documents with this extension. Okay. So the meeting places are Canvas, YouTube, maybe Zoom. Um, I'll try to uh, upload 10 to 15 minute videos, uh, a 10 to 15 minute video for each lab on YouTube. Okay, so the channel is called Sacramento Chip Education. I'll send out an announcement when I upload a new video for this class. So this video you're watching right now is going to be the first one uploaded this summer. I'll also be using the channels for other classes so that, so the one you want to watch for is 400 Astro Lab. Okay. So you may see some that say 320 Astro LEC for lecture, and later when when physic when Sac State kicks in, you may see uh, 5B um, physics lecture and 5B physics lab. You just want to concentrate on the 400 Astro lab for this class, okay? And again, each time I upload a video for this class, I'll try to remember to put out an announcement, which apparently I've been told goes to everybody who's registered in the class or has some some um, relationship to the class. All right, so YouTube channel, basically we can go through these one by one. Here's Canvas, okay? So I've got Canvas up for you guys. This would be what it would look like to you because I've got it in student view right here. And so you go to the modules. You've got your online documents. The syllabus is what we're looking at right at the moment. And then using Stellarium, um, I'll, I'll make a, a different video on how to use Stellarium, okay? Basically, that document is just how to use it. Here you see that you, this is investigating Stellarium. And I'll go make another document that will be up hopefully by Monday night, since that's our official first meeting, that will sh explain to you how to use Stellarium. And again, I'll send out a, a, a announcement that that's now available. Okay, and then your assignments will be here. So I, I haven't started a module for assignments yet, but you'll have online assignments, and that's where I'll put the labs because then those will be things that you turn back into me, or you do them online. Okay, like the like the exam. Okay, then we've got. Um, so also then I have a YouTube channel. The way you get to that. All right, so. So this, these will, I'm going to delete these. So you'll probably only start seeing, these were for the, the spring semester. So these won't be here when you see this. It'll probably be just this video, maybe Stellarium, and maybe something for my astronomy lecture that doesn't start till Tuesday, so that's why I'm getting on top of this class first. All right, so the, how did I get there? The easiest way is I just put in YouTube, Sacramento, Chip, EDU, 
and it came up right away for me. I don't think that's because I think hopefully everybody will get that at some point. That maybe the number one thing. I don't know if it's just me because it recognizes my computer, knows this is me. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll be putting the YouTube videos up here, okay? And these will be gone, hopefully, by the time you, you get here. And then, we will also, so now, as for Stellarium, it's a free download. And I am redoing this video because the last time I did it, everything got went haywire. So this is Stellarium. You can download it and all these ones here. There's also a web version. I've not, I haven't used the web version at all, and it is slightly different than the downloaded version. I went around and looked at the web version, hope, hoping it was the same as the, as the one you download. It's not, okay? So I'm going to use the downloaded version, which would be this right here, Oops. which isn't there. Hold on a second. So I had problems with this, so I had to start over. Okay, so. I've got Stellarium down here. It's going to be click down menu, so I'm not, I have to explore it more. But basically, I'm just clicking on Stellarium there. So this is the one that's downloaded onto the computer. This isn't the one on the web that this is showing. Okay. And hold on, it's taking too long to load. Okay, it's loaded. This is Stellarium. I'm going to show you how to do all this stuff. This is uh, taking out the atmosphere, so now we don't see the blue sky anymore. This is what it should look like. It's giving me Nevada City. I already made it Sacramento, so I don't know why it defaults back to Nevada City. But you got I'll show you how to do all that. And then you got the Earth. This is what the sky looks like. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can go up. You can look around. So we'll have a different, a different one on this. So let me shut this down now because that's where I got messed up last time. Okay, then the other one that... I have here is PHET. So I go here. Here is PHET physics. They have all these ones that I'm going to look at to come up with labs to to do some stuff in them. So I don't know how much I can get out of Stellarium. And so there's not, obviously some of these are not going to work for us, but um, a lot of them will be good things. Like for example, diffraction. This one right here. We do a diffraction lab because that's how telescopes. At work or reflection lab because how, that's how reflecting telescopes work so that'll be something that we'll probably try to do a lab on here okay and then all I did just to show you how I got here so the PHET just put it into Google this comes up just click on physics and there it is okay so those are the four main ones that we will be using okay so I got them there. Grady. Okay, labs. We should have two labs per week since we meet twice a week. If we were regularly meeting face-to-face, -face, we would do a lab on a Monday, then a lab on a Wednesday, then a lab on a Monday, lab on a Wednesday. Okay, but many of the labs that I have at the moment would require us to go to the observatory and use the telescopes. More than half of them are like that. Or at least half. We're close to half of them, I would say. Because we wanted to go up every time we could and we only stayed down in the lab if the weather was, wasn't very good. Or I ran out of labs because the weather was so good all semester. We, we did all those. Obviously, we are not going to do that this summer. We're not even going to be on campus, let alone crowding around in the observatory. So I need to write up a lot of new labs. And since I have other classes this summer, I've got the 320 the astronomy lecture in the morning. And I also have a 5A lab that I'm a little bit confused about right now. But hopefully I'll be getting everything straightened out before Monday but um, and then pretty soon I got to teach a five uh, a physics lecture and lab at Sac State uh, that'll overlap towards the end of our semester um, okay I probably won't be able to keep up that pace what I'm hoping for is maybe 10 to 12 labs during the eight weeks that this runs okay okay the labs will be placed in the assignment mode on canvas I don't have assignment our module. I don't have this assignment module up yet. I will send them out as Word documents extension docx and leave space for you to type in your answers. You can then upload them back to Canvas when you are done as a Word document or as an Adobe PDF file. Okay, I don't know. Hopefully most of you are experienced with Canvas. Maybe 
maybe not. Um, if not, hopefully Sac City has all sorts of resources. And you can go on YouTube and there's, there's, there's videos on YouTube that show you how to use Canvas, okay? Okay, then they'll be due a week from the date they are signed, since you have a full week to finish the lab. So in other words, you go there on a Monday, oh, there's a new lab, it won't be due till next Monday. I can work on it now, I can work on it on Wednesday, I can work on it at 3 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, I can work on it at 11 o'clock at night on Saturday or whatever, okay? You've got that whole week to work on it, okay? So there's no excuse for not getting it in, so I'm not going to drop any labs, okay? You turn a lab in late, a point or two, depending on how late it is, will be deducted. If you do not turn the lab in at all, it gets a zero. In other words, no labs get tossed now, because you can't say, oh, um, I had an accident on the way to school or anything like that. You've got a whole week to complete each lab. Um, even on the last week, the week before the, the last week, um, I'll give you the last lab on a Wednesday, and then it won't be due till the last Wednesday of the whole semester. I won't give you anything new on Monday of the last week. Okay, there will be a midterm on July 1st. It will cover the labs we did up to that point. At this point, I see a midterm having perhaps 10 multiple choice questions and 10 true-false questions. Normally, if we were meeting the class, you would be allowed a page of notes, but not the labs themselves. Since there is no way for me to monitor the class, I don't want to give the honest students a disadvantage to the students who are not so honest. So in other words, everybody has permission to do the labs. It goes without saying, I should have probably typed that in, because maybe some people don't get this, you can't work together. Okay, you probably, none of you probably know each other anyway, you haven't met, because we haven't even been in class or anything, we won't be. But you just can't have other people help you, it's got to be your own work, and you get to use your labs. So if you get to use your labs and you have to cheat on a 20 question, multiple choice, true, false quiz, then you probably should not be in college, okay? Uh, all the other students only got a page of notes. They didn't get to have their labs, okay? The labs, and I'll probably make it so the exams, you have like at least an hour to take them, or maybe a, a, may make like a two or three hour window, and within that window, you have an hour to start it and take it, and then for, for multiple choice and true falses, that should be way more than enough. Final, see the description for the midterm above. It is the same for the final, except that the final will only cover those labs we did after the midterm. It will not be comprehensive, and it will be on July 29th, which is going to be the last day of the semester. So in other words, this is where we start. This will be the Wednesday of the fourth week. One, two, three, four. So that's our first exam. And then, so this is the fourth week. This is the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth week. So the Wednesday will be the 29th and then we're done, okay? Labs will be 160 points, the midterm's 20 points, the final is 20 points for a total of 200 points, and then if you get 90 and above, you got an A, you get 80 to 89, you're, basically if you get 90 and above, you're guaranteed an A. Now, if you get an 89 and someone else gets a 90, then I'm gonna give you an A. If, if, but, but if I, I give a 92, then a no 91, no 90, and you get an 89, then no, because I'm going to look for a gap. And if that's the only gap I can find, because the next person has an 88 and someone else has an 87 and someone else has an 86, I'm not going to keep going down, down, down. I'm looking for a gap. So if someone has a 90% and you have an 89%, you get an A, so the 88%, so the 80%. I'm looking for a gap, okay? I hate this. I can't stand the fact we can't put pluses and minuses on these. But that's one of the weird things that Sac City does that's just different. Uh, okay, so this is the entire syllabus. Um, the only, and then I'm working, so this is the, this is the lab, I'm working on it, it's a work in progress, okay, um, hopefully I have this up before Monday night, it's now Saturday afternoon, okay, so this, I'm working on it, and then, uh, this is the Stellarium, using Stellarium, I'll make a new video to go through this, alright, so, hopefully, this all makes sense, um, I know there's people on the wait list trying to add. I don't know how that works right now. I don't even know if they're going to get this video. So I'm going to try to understand how the wait list works because I've never been in this situation before with people trying to add classes online. So I'm going to call it quits for now. I'm going to upload this as soon as I get a chance. And then the next time you'll hear from me, it'll be with the how to use Stellarium lab. And then after that, it'll be the 
video on how to do the very first lab that hopefully will be posted by Monday night at 8.30. Okay, good night for now.